Welcome back. Tonight we're going to be making our homemade quick black bean burger along with our sweet potato fries. Now these are really great recipes if you want something with a lot of flavor and not a ton of calories. It's easy to make. We're going to show you everything you need to know tonight. And this is a vegetarian meal. So you can add your uh, meat if you want. We're going to add turkey bacon to the burgers. So the ingredients for tonight is as follows. We'll need some sweet potatoes, of course, for the sweet potato fries. Um, I have three medium-sized sweet potatoes. Dad. We'll need salt, pepper, garlic powder, cinnamon, and that's all just for the yam fries. We'll also need Dad. olive garden, or olive garden. Olive oil. Olive oil. You go get the olive oil. Yes. Right there. What do you think? And for the homemade uh, black bean burgers, we're going to start with a. Will you also get the oatmeal out? We're going to start. So that olive oil is going to go in both me, uh, meals or both recipes. So we'll need that olive oil. We'll need a can, a 15.25 ounce can of black beans. We'll need some oats. You'll need a food processor and or a blender. Um, you'll need a lime. The lime is in the refrigerator. Will you get that? We'll need two eggs. We're putting turkey bacon and avocado on our black bean burgers when they are done. And we're going to do them um, low carb style. So that means we're not going to be using a bun for the actual patty we're going to be using lettuce um, garlic oregano and then you'll also need some chili powder and if you want a little kick to it you can get some cayenne pepper so first we'll start out by preheating that oven to 425 some of this oat flour up. Will you do the honors of doing that? I need about a... Uh, you can add what you would like. We're going to start with a fourth of a cup in there. We're going to blend that until it is oat flour. started, we're going to need to peel them. to that. We want a little more in there. You can use whatever kind of flour or dry breadcrumbs if you want to change it up and not use oat flour. Okay, do you want to start by getting a tablespoon of oil, a tablespoon of garlic, and the black beans, which I can open for you if I finally can. Yes, I would. Thanks. Did you have some peas? Mm -hmm. You'll want to drain and rinse the black beans. Just drain here. It's three tablespoons of oil to the really? can of black beans and the half a cup of either oat flour, wheat flour, regular flour, and or dry bread crumbs. We do. Like. I think that we'll just do a tablespoon of garlic and that's what we kind of like to use. While he's doing that, I'm going to cut up the yam fries into 
steak fried wedges. So they're going to be bigger than regular fries. Makes for less cutting, a little less work. So after you're done adding that garlic and the olive oil, you can start the blender up. Get it a nice pasty texture. So we do a sweet potato because sweet potatoes are actually a lot more healthy for you than regular potatoes and they have a sweeter taste to them. So make sure you make this substitute when you're making yours at home so you can get the nutritional benefits of the sweet potato and also try something that most people don't include into their nutrition plan. They're very high in potassium and a great source of carbohydrates. Apple, apple, apple. That's a lime. So next up we're going to take the lime and we're going to grate the rind into the mixture that we've already made with the black beans, olive oil, garlic, and oat flour. We're going to use one lime. Got about a teaspoon will come off of one lime. What? You can't have an egg. Okay, I've got my cut, steak cut. Uh, sweet potato fries. What we're going to do is we're going to put them on a baking pan, season them up, and throw them in the oven. Okay, now that we have the fries in the pan, we're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there. Um, it just is, in the recipe, it's just to coat, and I would probably say it's about a tablespoon. I wouldn't use any more than that. I probably didn't put that much on here, and it's giving me, out of three yams, it's giving them a nice uh, coating. Next, we're going to throw that salt and the garlic powder on top of them. Thank you. Now, I've never used this recipe before for the fries. We, we do yam fries all the time, but we have never used cinnamon. We're going to put cinnamon on oh, it. So, We'll try this. Give it a try. Hey. Careful. Give those a nice toss. Get it all mixed together. You got cinnamon, garlic, and salt on those. Cinnamon's another great way to add a lot of flavor without okay, adding. Okay, next a ton we're gonna season the. We're gonna season those black bean burgers with. What do we have to season them with, babe? I don't know. Well, we've got salt, the old one little kick, a little cayenne, and we've got a helper up here. Um, a little bit of pepper. I don't really necessarily like pepper a whole lot, but we'll put a little bit of it in. Chili powder and oregano. You can use fresh or dried. We're using dried tonight. So we've got the olive oil and garlic already used. Nope, you can't sit down. We're cooking right here. Do you want to help put the seasonings in? Okay, let's start with some chili powder. So we need three fourths of a teaspoon. Okay, are you ready? No. You're ready to put some in? Okay. Woo! Not too much. Okay, put that in there. Have Dad help you put it all in there. Good boy. Okay, we're going to need a half a teaspoon of chopped oregano. We're going to need a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Why don't you add a little cayenne to your liking? I love my cayenne. Great way to add some spice and some flavor to your food. Again, without adding the calories. And hasn't there been a little bit of a study that shows that adding a little bit of heat to your food can help you burn a little extra calories? A little cayenne may help to increase your metabolism too. Add that fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add two egg whites. So you can get a bowl 
crack the egg, strain it through both eggshells, and that was probably the worst uh, <laughs> um, egg white. All right, will you add that, the two egg whites? We're going to add those. With the eggshell? Is there an eggshell in there? Where? Oh, right there. One eggshell coming out. I don't know that we got it out, but. Process that in the blender and or food processor. Get it all whipped up. And we'll make some patties out of those. enough to make patties no. you all you need to do is just add a little more of that whatever flour you were using and or dry bread crumbs all right we're gonna make some bacon for our black bean burgers to top them with. it's been about 10 minutes you're gonna flip the fries put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes and or however long that it on how you like your potatoes and or baked french fries. So we went back and added another can of black beans just so we could reach the consistency that we wanted with the patties. We ended up adding too many tablespoons of olive oil. The recipe calls for one in the mixture, not three. So we added three. So we just added, um, just made the recipe as it was two servings instead of Okay, I think we've reached about the consistency that we want for those black bean burgers. You'll want to get your hands wet to make these patties because they're going to be um, pretty uh, pasty. They're not going to be like a burger in the fact that it's going to just come out like a patty when you put it in your hand. So we'll make the patties. You'll get your hands wet before you do. You'll just throw it in the skillet and it'll cook right up, just like a patty would. I'm gonna spray a little Pam on the skillet before I put them in, just so we don't have any sticking burgers. Probably wanna wet your hand before you make every patty. Things are smelling good over here. How's it coming along? Good, you wanna flip that bacon for me with that spatula? Yeah. We like to use turkey bacon just as a reduced calorie alternative to regular bacon. It actually has a lot of the sodium and crunch that you're looking for out of regular bacon without all the extra fat, cholesterol, and calories that you don't want. I'm going to cut our avocado and peel it. I'm going to peel just one side because that's probably what all we'll use for the two of us and um, I'm going to slice it up in small little wedges. And how to keep your avocado not brown and putting it back in the fridge is leave the core intact and or in the dish that you put your, put your um, avocado in. So let's say you made some guacamole. Put that uh, pour back in after you're done eating it and you will have fresh guacamole still green and not brown so it looks like our recipe after adding two of those 15 ounce cans of black beans we've got about seven or eight um burger patties black bean burger patties so in your recipe, just add that one no. tablespoon. And I'll make the correction before the video starts so that we don't get you guys all mixed up like we did. But I think that they should turn out just about the same by adding that extra can of black beans and the extra 
fourth a, a cup of oat flour. No, no. The patties are pretty fragile. They um, should come out kind of looking like that on one side when you flip them. They are, they're a little harder to flip, but do you need me? You just want to make sure that they're ready to flip if you flip them because if they're not, they're not going to flip very easily. And if they're definitely brown on one side, they'll come out looking real nice brown on one side and they'll be easier to flip as well. Now you can top your black bean burger with whatever you like. We're going to do bacon, avocado, probably a little bit of, uh, we're going to put it between two lettuce leaves instead of having a bun. You can use ketchup, mustard, tomatoes, onions. We'll probably put all of that on there. Pickles, make it like a real burger. If you want, you can add cheese. Um, if you want a little more fat, they do have that olive oil in them that will get you their, the fat that you need. If you are wanting a higher fat meal, that's a great way to get it. We're getting all some of the fat from the avocado. So either and the turkey bacon. So you've got a couple of different ways that you're getting fat from this. Cheese will just add a little extra calories and a little more fat. If you're ready for that, then that's your ticket to get to a little more fat in your uh, recipe. Okay, so I've got a couple more things cut up for the black bean burgers. I've got the tomatoes. We actually don't have like cutting tomatoes, so I'm using the little cherry tomatoes. It's looking good. Yeah. It's looking really good. We've also got uh, ketchup and mustard. And you know what's really good on these, and if you want, you can use this good as barbecue sauce. Hey. I'm getting my toes. Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, get over 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 here. cooked in them it really is the eggs so not cooking them um, enough it's not really going to be a problem as long as you get them brown. Look is it yummy? And I think that we've got those french fry, those steak fries, sweet potato steak fries looking mm. just about done. I, I like to put them on the broiler, under the broil, broiler for like five minutes, maybe yeah. even less, just so they get a really nice, crisp flavor and texture. So I'm gonna add that to that. We've got our black bean burgers all cooked up. I'm gonna turn all the pans off. I'm gonna take those fries out of the broiler here in about two minutes. Put on our toppings. Wrap them with a little bit of lettuce. Put on ketchup, uh, mustard, or barbecue sauce. And you've got yourself a vegetarian burger and fries. Or you can add a little bacon. Put a little bit of uh, meat in there. And you've got yourself a meal. Thanks for cooking. Thanks for having me.